the Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. A very active start to our Sunday as the rounds of severe weather move through, producing possible tornadoes, damaging wind gusts, howling lightning and thunder and all that across the area. Got out of here by about 10 o'clock and now we're beginning the cleanup process, but it does look like more dry weather, but there's still a long way to go as far as recovery. So taking a look at the storm reports across the area. These are the official reports we've gotten so far. More will be added to this, but here's what we got so far. We have some wind damages through Opelousas where they saw wind gusts up to 80 miles per hour. Also back through Evangeline Parish through Ville Platte and Mamou, but I would expect those to be upgraded to possible tornado damage based on the recovery recovery and uh, aspect of what they see out there. We do have a storm team heading that way and we hopefully can get more information later on tonight or into our Monday. An official tornado did spot down early this morning in Beauregard Parish had some flooding rains where they saw five to six inches in northern portions of Calcasieu and back into Beauregard Parish. And then we had high wind gusts for Lafayette and New Iberia at the airports up to 65 70 miles per hour. So a very active morning across the area. Let's take a look at the radar loop from very early this morning. We can only go back 12 hours, so that takes us to about 530 this morning. And that's right when these storms were firing up, moving through Evangeline Parish. And what you can see is you have this notch. That's where we had those very strong winds up to 80 miles per hour whipping through this area, mainly right through St. Landry Parish. But on the northern flank, we got to begin to see a little bit of that rotation. That's what caused the possible tornadoes in Ville Platte and then maybe into northern portions of St. Landry Parish, but not really seeing a whole lot of it. But you can really see that tight rotation on the radar, and that's why we do think tornadoes touched down in Mamou and Ville Platte that caused all the damage in those locations. Heavy winds out ahead of this, then moved through Lafayette, causing lots of trees and power lines to get knocked down across other portions of Acadiana. So a very powerful system worked its way through Acadiana, producing all that bad weather this morning. But for the most part, this has now all come to an end, but it also produced some very heavy rain totals across much of Acadiana. As you can see, central Acadiana picked up anywhere from two to three inches, which caused the minor flash flooding as those storms initially made their way through. The hot spots were out to our west. As you can see in northern Jeff Davis Parish, close to five inches, and then up towards the DeRitter area, they've seen close to seven inches of rain going back to early this morning and they're still dealing with the rain while they continue to have a flash flood warning for the northern portion of Beauregard Parish, mainly for Dorinner and going down a highway 171. You can see they've been dealing with strong storms throughout much of the afternoon and still have another wave of heavy showers that could be pushing down into this area. So not looking good for northern portions of Beauregard. They could see anywhere maybe eight, nine inches before this all said and done. But good news is these storms are weakening as they try to push off to the east. So I'm not expecting really any more storms to fire up across central Acadiana. Do have a few light showers trying to push through Lafayette Parish right now, but other than just a brief maybe five, ten minute little shower, most of this is beginning to fizzle out, so I'm not expecting a whole lot. You also see up towards the Arnoldville area have a few light scattered showers, but mainly by about six, seven o'clock, all this activity should begin to fizzle out and things should finally quiet down across Acadiana through tonight and into our Monday. And that's how we show on the model waking up tomorrow morning with areas of patchy fog to begin the day. Thanks to all the rain that's going to be still on the ground from those morning showers. During the afternoon, a mix of sun and clouds. You do see a few isolated showers developing over towards Baton Rouge and New Orleans. Wouldn't be surprised if we see one or two across the Cadiana, but for the most part, we will still dry, but we'll still keep about rain chances up around 20% for our Monday. Then by Tuesday, high pressure will be moving in, really helping to get the winds going. We're going to see a very gusty afternoon with winds out of the south southeast, 15 to 25 miles per hour as this storm system develops back over east Texas, but that should fall apart. So I'm not really expecting any rain to move into our area for the week ahead. But for the rest of this evening, we will still keep a 40% chance for a few scattered showers early. Otherwise, a warm and muggy night, with the fog developing by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Once we get rid of the fog, we'll call it partly sunny with that 20 percent chance for just a pop up shower or two, but most of us do stay dry highs in the upper 80s, both that humidity feeling like the mid 90s. So summer like forecast for our Monday and that continues for the rest of your week ahead. You can see temperatures getting into the 90s, relatively low rain chances, maybe a stray shower by Friday afternoon. Then moving into Memorial Day weekend, summer is in full force. Temperatures into the low 90s feel like temperatures getting close to the triple digits. So as we enter the final weeks of May, it does look like a drier period, but also a warm and humid one with those temperatures into the 90s. Don't go away. We'll have more news after the break.